There's much we can say about Frank Powers. He was, as Jim Brown indicated, an unlikely man to have had to deal with notoriety. He was quiet and self-effacing, but he dealt with his notoriety in a straightforward, straightforward, thoroughly honest way. To some, Francis Gary Powers was a hero, but not to himself. To others, he was less than a hero. There were critics who questioned the information he'd given the Soviet secret police during marathon questioning. Frank never apologized for that. He insisted he had told them little more than they already knew. And the one thing they did not know or were not correct about was the altitude at which the U-2 was flying when it was shot down. He never revealed that to the Soviets. And as far as we know, it remains classified. It is small comfort to us, even less for his family, his wife Sue, his daughter Dee, his son Gary, to know that Francis Gary Powers died doing what he liked to do. But that's small comfort for us. We have no less grief for George Spears, the engineer cameraman. Frank was our friend. Damn it. He was the public figure. But what about George Spears? He was 43 years old. Most of his life had been spent in Chicago. He and his wife and his three teenage children moved to Northridge when George came to work for NBC just a year ago. Francis Gary Powers and George Spears died instantly in the crash of the new Center 4 telecopter at 12.30 this afternoon.